In this short video, we will look at representing complex discontinuous function. Now, this is an example of a complex discontinuous function. In this course, we are not going to look at uh, anything other than a linear, so you won't see curves in here. So, if you look at this function, uh, it remains flat at amplitude 1 till 5 seconds, ramps up, stops the ramp at 10 seconds, remains flat till 15 seconds, and at 15 seconds drops down to amplitude 5. Now, up front, let me tell you that this is a combination of uh, simple ramps and step functions. Now, we need to know how to uh, represent this combination. So, before we go forward, we'll have to first learn what uh, time delayed functions are. Now, here we have a unit ramp starting at t equal to 0. That's this one. Now, if you want to have a unit ramp starting at t equal to 5, you simply delay it by tau, like so, with tau equal to 5. Now, notice that the amplitude here is 1. So, if you had amplitude 2, then this would ramp with amplitude 2, i.e. at time t equal to 5 seconds, you would have had amplitude equal to 10 instead of 5. Okay? Now, here we look at summing two functions. Uh, we have two functions here originally and then we sum them together. So, we have a step of amplitude 3 that starts at t minus 2. That's a function represented by these blue squares. You have a ramp, a unit ramp, unit ramp that starts at t equal to 5. Those, that's the function represented by the green circles here. And then the sum of the two functions, that's the red, that's how it looks. Essentially what I'm doing is summing both these functions at every time step and this is how it looks. That's how you get complex uh, discontinuous functions by summing uh, basic step and ramp functions with different time delays. Now let's go back and look at an initial example now. What do you think this could be? Now this looks like a step function to me, a unit step function that starts at t equal to 0, it remains the same and then this looks like there is a ramp starting at t equal to 5 and if I look at the amplitude for one second it goes up by 1 therefore it's a unit ramp starting at t equal to 5 so that's what happens there. Now this ramp is cancelled at t equal to 10 so to cancel the ramp, you need to have a negative ramp. Since this flattens out, that means the amplitude of that ramp starting at t equal to 10 is minus 1 to cancel this ramp. If it was minus 2, then this plot would start falling down. Therefore, this is a unit ramp minus 1 starting at t equal to 10 that cancels this ramp. Therefore, you have the function flattening out. And at t equal to 15, there is a sudden drop. Now this looks like a negative unit step. And that's what it is. So the function, this whole function can be represented as a sum of all these functions. So f of t equal to unit step starting at t equal to 0 plus unit ramp starting at uh, t equal to 5 minus unit ramp starting at t equal to 10 minus unit step starting at t equal to 15. That's the end of our lecture.